Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshir Drej. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present Spiral Matrix 4. This problem came in the weekly context 300 and in case you are interested in looking for out for rest of the solutions of the context, decode the message, number of people aware of a secret, number of increasing paths in the grid, all the solutions are provided in the description below so do check them out. Now let's try and understand the question. The question says you are given two integers m and n that represents the matrix. You're also given the head of the linked list. What you need to do, you need to dump the elements from this linked list into this matrix in a spiral form. You need to generate the resultant spiral matrix using the linked list. So here M and N values were given as three and five. The uh, linked list is given as three zero two six eight one seven nine four two five five zero. And you need to dump values into this matrix in the spiral order. And in case uh, no more elements exist while iterating over this linked list, what you need to do, the default value would be treated as minus one. As in this case, as you can see, the second row has minus one at two places because the linked list got exhausted. So in case you have been following coding decoded, then you will, you will be aware of that the spiral order problem and spiral order two problem. So both the links are also specified in the description. And if you carefully observe spiral order second problem, then it's exact replica of today's problem. The only difference is instead of the numbers given in an incremental fashion, there is a linked list from which the numbers are to be pulled out. If you go through this question, then you are given a positive integer n. That means the number starts from one goes up till n and you need to use these numbers in order to generate the matrix in spiral form. Again, as if you under, if, if you can understand this problem, then today's problem would be cakewalk for you. So I'm attaching the link of spiral order two solution in the description below. So the first and the foremost thing that you need to do is to go through the solution and understand the concept how spiral order in general can be generated. Once you will go through it, you guys will be able to solve this problem by yourself and I can guarantee this to you. So the prerequisite to today's problem is spiral order two. Now let's get back to the problem spiral order four and let me just start the slideshow. I'll be taking a very simple test case and telling you how to go about solving this problem. So let's move to the presentation section. Spiral matrix four lead code double two three six. It's a medium level question on lead code. And I also feel the same in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are stated below. Now let's shoot for going through the same example and while going through the same example we will build the solution as well as well as the algorithm so in the we will be creating four pointers which is a standard part of iterating over the traversal in a spiral form so the top the first one is stop initialized to zero the next one is right initialized to n minus one where n signifies number of columns the next one is left and uh, is initialized to zero that represents the leftmost uh, column and the last one is bottom, which represents the number of rows in your matrix, which will be equal to M minus one. So how do we need to iterate first? We need to iterate from uh, the leftmost terminal to the rightmost terminal, something along this direction. And which field is remaining constant over here? The row ID is remaining constant. So let's start doing it. Uh, the first element that we see is three. So three gets pushed in over here. Next we have zero, zero gets pushed in. Next we have two, two gets pushed in. Next we have six, six gets pushed in. Next we have eight, eight gets pushed in. And with this, we have iterated up till N minus one columns. So the row ID remains constant. Only the columns are changing. And since we have iterated over the entire first row, what do we need to do? The first reversal is done and we need to increment the topmost pointer. The topmost pointer gets incremented to over here. Now it's updated to one. So there's a standard way of moving in the spiral form. Learn it up if you are not aware of it. Now what we need to do, we need to move towards the downwards direction. So we will be moving along this line. And uh, we will be starting from the topmost terminal up till the bottommost terminal, something along over here. So top is right now pointing to one and it will go up till bottom minus one. Here, what field is remaining constant? The column ID is remaining constant, which is N minus one. So let's shoot for it. And the element that we have is one. Next we have is seven. With this, we have successfully reached the bottom right corner of the matrix. What do we need to do? Now we will be reducing the right pointer. The right pointer gets reduced to N minus two, something over here. Now it is over here. 
and we will be moving towards the leftmost direction let's shoot for it now we will move moving along this line and what field is remaining constant the row id is remaining constant which is m minus 1 let's start dumping values over to it this has been marked next is 9 so 9 gets over here then we have 4 then we have 2 then we have 5 so we have successfully iterated up till fifth position and with this we have we are done with the three traversals one this then this then this once we have reached the bottom left corner what do we need to do we will be reducing the value of b because this row will never be repeated again so b now points to this particular position now let's go for the four traversal which is starting from this point up till the top value that which is this direction so there is there will be there will be only one element that gets fit in and if you carefully see along this traversal the column id remains constant which is zero as governed by the leftmost pointer so let's shoot for dumping data over here which is five so five gets updated and what do we need to do we need to increment the value of left pointer so now left point to one again we will do the same thing uh, the next element that we have is four and we will be starting the traversal along this particular sub matrix so the element is zero zero gets dumped here and you have exhausted the entire linked list so the remaining values will be filled in with minus one minus one to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll you, you will get a better understanding how these four pointers are moving in case you ha still not have seen spiral order two solution so the first and the foremost thing that I have done is to create the matrix then I have created four pointers top, bottom, right and left and moving ahead I have created the len variable which is equal to num, min, num into n which will keep track of the number of elements that have been dumped into my, my matrix that are to be dumped. So in total how many elements are to be dumped? Uh, n into m. So the matrix should have n into m elements in it and val represents the value with which each cell will be dumped and it is by default in each slice to zero. So let's start the iteration while count is less than n that simply means we still have elements to be dumped in the matrix add elements in matrix so the first and the foremost thing is to that is to be done is to iterate over the top row iterate over top row i start i have created a for loop i equals to left i is less than uh, right and till the time count is also less than length with each iteration i increment the value of i in case my head of the linked list is not null that means there are, the, the element does exist in my linked list what do i do i update my val to head dot val and i increment the head to the next pointer in case it has already been exhausted i initialize the val to minus one i assign this value to a matrix and increment the count variable and once the iteration is done the important thing is to update the topmost variable. Once I'm done with this iteration, I have iterated over the top row. Now I need to travel downwards towards travel downwards towards bottom. And here the column ID will remain constant. The rows will be changing. So I start from the topmost row uh, to the bottommost row. And remember the top ID, the top pointer has been incremented in the past. The, the this condition remains the same that means more elements are to be dumped in the matrix till the time we have an element available in the linked list i extract its value otherwise if no element is there the value gets reset to minus one i assign it, it in the matrix then increment, i increment the value of count because a new value has been filled in and with this I, once this small loop is done i simply reduce the right pointer similarly i have written similar kind of loops for traveling towards left traveling towards up once you are out of this entire loop that simply means the matrix has been appropriately dumped so please go through the rest of the code by yourself it's exactly the same just the traversals are happening in different directions so at line number 30, 83 we simply return the matrix out and let's submit this up accept it with this we have solved all the four questions and i hope you thoroughly enjoyed those up and learned something new from it with this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you had a great time watching all the solutions and I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.